Yo, what's going on everybody? It's your boy No No Light Show. And as always, if you're new, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And if you enjoy my content, make sure you leave a like. It lets me know to keep on making videos for your beautiful faces. So we all have that one friend. There's always one. There's always the one friend that just has zero tolerance for alcohol. I'm talking about like the extreme lightweight, one drink, and they're just gone. I will say that this was a long time ago, and this singular person that I may or may not be talking about, their alcohol tolerance also may or may not have risen as the years have passed. But nonetheless, this happened a while ago, like some years and years ago. I have a friend. My, my best friend actually, he's like a brother to me. And he was going to school in Cleveland, Ohio. Not that that matters at all, but he went to school out of town, right? So normally the only way to contact or the only way we had contact with each other was like texting, calling, yada yada, through the phone. One night, I get a call from him and I feel like it, was, it wasn't too late, I don't feel like. Like maybe like midnight at the latest, midnight. Maybe one is like pushing it. Like there's no way it could have even been one because I strictly remember that it was like, wow, this is really early. Why are you in this situation? So one night, not that late either, I get a call from him and you can tell he has obviously had a sip or two. He is under the influence and he gives me a call. Everybody knows you got a call from your drunk best friend at one point or another you know what I mean for whatever reason people we just like calling our homies whenever we're drunk you know what I mean especially if they're not having a good time with us I really can't say that he was having a good time though um, pretty much he calls me and somehow might I add he lived in an apartment all by himself in Cleveland and I get a call from him and he has somehow managed I don't like this is just this is beyond me but he has somehow managed to lock himself in a closet by himself in an apartment alone in cleveland like 300 miles 300 is probably not 300 miles a couple hundred miles away from home he is in an apartment by himself locked in a closet somehow managed to find himself in that predicament and he calls me and he's like, bro, clearly under the influence. I can't get out of the closet. And you can tell, right? Like, you can tell when your best friend calls you and they're under the influence. They have that certain slurring of their words, you know, their demeanor changes. So he's on the phone with me telling me that he's trapped himself in a closet. And it's not even like a closet that you could actually like lock yourself in you know those closets where it's like you slide the door there's the closet like you could hang clothes in there like you're not getting a dresser in there or anything like like you put your vacuum in this kind of closet okay just a sliding door closet it's not big there's no knobs you have to like mess with to open or close the door you literally just slide the door either way and it's gonna open and close and he has managed to just get stuck in this closet and he's telling me all this and I'm like how the hell like where are you you know how did you get stuck in the closet like can't you get out of the closet like just reverse the process that got you to where you were just reverse that and get back out it's pretty simple for a sober person I understand Maybe not so much for him. I cannot stress the fact enough that it is literally a sliding door closet. There's no locks. It's like on a rail system and the door just slides freely, you know? You know the closets I'm talking about. The closets where vacuums go. I'm not, this is not, no fibbing. This is real life. Just, you can't lock yourself in these kind of closets. But he has somehow managed to get stuck in this closet which I'm pretty sure he had a vacuum in as well, so stuck in the vacuum closet. Now I know what you're thinking. He's hundreds of miles away from home, in an apartment by himself, stuck in a closet, under the influence. This is not good. He had a friend. He had a friend. Everybody, let's just... <sighs> he was stuck in the closet with Batman. My man 
was stuck in the closet with a little McDonald's toy Batman, okay? Where this Batman came from, I'm not sure, but he made sure to let me know that not only is he stuck in the closet, but he is stuck in the closet with Batman, okay? We're talking about like, the absolute, mo like, this is as lightweight as it gets. I feel like, I love this dude to death. This is my brother, but dude was loaded off of one four loco, okay? He drank one four loco, okay? That's what he told me. Okay, he told me he had one four loco and that was it. Managed to find himself locked in a closet with Batman. I'm on the phone, hundreds of miles away, trying to assist him with maneuvering out of the closet. Maybe Batman can give him a hand, I don't know, but we need to get my boy out of the closet or else he's just gonna sleep in there all night, which isn't necessarily the worst thing. Like that makes for a funnier story, right? But imagine getting that call. I know we've all, everybody's got a friend that has called them just absolutely toasted with some off the wall scenarios going on, but my man's was stuck in a closet with Batman. And not even a closet that you can lock yourself in. I'm telling you, a sliding door closet. You guys know the ones off of one Four Loco. Now this was years ago. This was back when like Four Locos had like fucking antifreeze and shit in them or whatever they had in them that was like really bad for you so maybe that played a part in the level of his drunken state but nonetheless i got a call from my best friend while he was in cleveland going to school one night that he was stuck in his closet with batman this story does have a happy ending somehow on the phone with him for like a half hour we managed to figure out how to get him out of said closet and into his bed. I made sure not only that he got out of his closet, that he made it to his bed safe and sound so he could sleep off this singular four loco. Maybe he even took his little toy Batman to bed with him. I don't know, you might have to ask him, but it just makes for an absolutely hilarious phone call trying to coach your best friend out of a closet with his homie Batman off of one four loco and into bed. But let me know, you guys have any funny stories of friends calling you in a drunken stupor? Let me know in the comment section below. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you leave a like. If you're new, subscribe. We're getting close to 450 and that would be amazing. But yeah, if you're new, hit that subscribe button. If you enjoy my content, leave a like. Let me know in the comment section below. If you have any funny stories of friends calling you or you calling other friends, I've got a ton of drunken stories that I might more than likely share to the channel. Just as many, if not more, than all of my run-ins with the cops. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed the video. We will see you in whatever video I make next. Peace.